Welcome. In today's guide, I'm going to put you through on how to use smart ships in Google Sheets. Okay. It's a feature that has the capability to pull information or data from third party apps and services. Take, for example, you are filling some information, example, address in your sheets. Okay. Smart ships can help you get that address you want to fill in the sheets easily, all right, without any waste of time. So let's get into it practically. Okay, let's now access um, Google Slides. So I'll open my web browser, then visit slides.google.com. Okay, I have already bookmarked it, so I'll click on it for it to open. I want to explain this feature using the sheet I have already prepared, okay? So I will open this sheet names student details okay that will make it easy for us to understand okay so this has the heading as details of cyber security students and performance that is their individual performances okay here we can see the names of my students we have michael jordan we have william fancy life club and so many other students okay here is the space for their address and here is the email address of the students okay where the email address are supposed to be assigned this column all right this column say performance of the students have been entered and here the highest performing student is steve benz with 98 percent okay i have written i have meeting all right okay now let's now start with the ships okay so for you to use the smart shifts click on the cell you want to assign the effect okay so i'll click here then click the insert tab select smart shifts you can see smart shifts when you click on smart shifts you can see some options people file calendar place finance and rating people allows you to mention people in the slide okay Maybe the email address of a co-worker or somebody you want to mention. Maybe you have an email address you want to call for him to come and take a look, all right, at what you have in the spreadsheet, okay? Then file allows you to assign file in the spreadsheet from your Google Drive, all right? Calendar events allows you to add, import a calendar event you have already set in google calendar place allows you to mention a place for example in the area of address you can type an address and smart Shifts helps you to bring the possible address you want to insert in the cell finance allows you to post stock for example amazon stock or apple stock or any other stock you want to put in the cell rating allows you to rate a particular thing or a particular person for example this contains the details of my students so i can decide to rate each of them by one star to five star based on their performances so let's start with people okay so i'll click here now once i click people you can see that art is being assigned automatically so they want me to type the email address of the person i want to call on or mention okay or maybe a student's email address this can be this email address of the student as well so let's say the email address of the student is customers base okay you can see it has shown up i will click on it for it to be assigned i get in it so this is how you can use the first option i can click on it and then copy it right click and copy or let me cut it right click and cut because this is where I want to assign it, okay? Then I'll paste. Because this is the email address space, okay? So now, we have now used the people option to assign an email address here. So when I say that this file to someone, once you bring his cursor here, you can see the full email address, all right? Okay, now let's go and check the second option. The second option is file. And it allows you to import file from your Google Drive. So for you to use this feature, you must have already imported a particular file in your drive. So let's see how we are going to use it. 
For example, let's say here I want to attach the report of this call, okay, the details, how the how the student performs in details. I have already prepared a file, a document file for that, okay? So the first step is to click on the cell, which I have done already, then click the Insert tab, then get to Smart Shifts, Smart Shifts, and click on File. Okay, now it lists some possible files you are likely to assign. You can see these are the files I have already created in my jog and in my sheets and in other workspace applications okay but i have a particular file i want to assign here which i named do not disturb okay you can see it's already in my drive so as i type few letters that make up the word the file the file name is as shown up so i will just click on it and this file is now assigned here all right so when the recipients want to view the content, they can just click on it and open it and see what is contained in it in full. All right. The third option in the Smartship is calendar. Okay. And for this to work, you must have set a particular calendar event date in Google Calendar. All right. Without taking much time, let's now visit the Google Calendar. So let me open a new tab. Because if you don't set any event, it won't work. All right. That is the thing there. So I'll click here and then I'll select calendar. Let's look for Google Calendar. You can see calendar here. Here now it shows that I have already set one calendar here. But if you are using this for the first time, you wouldn't have set any calendar. So let's set a new calendar here. Let's choose February 28, 2024. All right. As I have selected a particular date, then I'll click on create. Okay, you say events, so I'll select events. Now, I'll give this event a title. Okay, let's say team meeting, right? So, the, that means that I'm going to hold team meeting on the 28th of February, 2024. So, I'll click on save. Okay, now that we have set this, let's now get back to our Google Sheets. All right. So I have a column I call meeting here. So I think that would be the best place to assign this. So I'll click on a particular um, cell. Okay. So then I will click then the insert tab. Followed by smart ship. And I'll select calendar events. Okay. This list the two calendar I set already in my Google calendar. The first is student meeting and the second is team meeting. So I want to have team meeting i want to tell these people that on this particular date there, there will be team meeting so with this list we have here i will select one so this is team meeting that i want to add here so i'll click on that okay the next option is place under the smart shapes all right so let's assume now here i want to fill the address of my students okay let's say this godwin richard is my as my student lives inside Chelsea Football Club um, surrounding that the father is the Chelsea coach. All right. So I want to mention his address here because Chelsea as a football club is in Fulham. All right. So I want to type the address here. The first is to click on the cell, which I have done. And after that, click on the start tab. So let's match it. And then from here, we select place. Art has been introduced. So let's type the name of the place we want to assign. So I'll start with Fulham. You can see Fulham United, uh, United Kingdom, London has shown up. So you can see this option here. It's a Fulham Football Club. That's not what we need. We just need the Chelsea address, which is in Fulham, London. All right. So I'll select this. Or specifically, maybe um, Stella King has his address starting with 89 okay or maybe 89 as a number is part of his of her address that is stella king okay the first thing is to click on the cell so i want us to experiment again on the place using the place sample okay then click on the search then smart ships place again okay let's see 
89 let's see if the, it will show us any address with 89 you can see the list now it's now mom agiela okay this is an kuwait all right so there's another address here that is at nine queenway west canada all right so i think this is beautiful address because my students stay in different parts of the world okay they're not localized all right so i offer my course online so let's go with this address okay and this address is assigned to this cell all right that is how to use the place option in the sheets okay the next option in the smart sheet is finance okay then for example i want to quote apple stock the price at the moment the first is to click on the cell where you want to quote it so let's quote it here and after that click on insert click smart chips and select finance all right as the finance is selected the apple stock have the abbreviation as a p p l okay a p p l e all right so you can see that is listed there so apple a p p l e i n c i n c which the abbreviation a a p l all right that is apple stock all right so it has shown up in the list i'll click on that and it is added so let's go and experiment with the last option which is written okay so you can see now on this list of students my best performing student is steve benz all right yeah he scored uh 98 over 100 so i want to rate him and the rating i want to give to him is five stars so i'll click on here under the rating column and then click on insert scroll down and click on smart shifts select rating okay this rating has now been assigned here but i have not um say that is five star or one star or two star okay for me to assign a particular level of star i'll click on that cell where the rating is inserted okay you can see now we have one star two star three stars four stars and five stars so i'll select five stars so these are just the steps you need to take to use the smart ships made available in google sheets is that simple all right so if you have a question drop it in the comment section and i will guide you further thank you i hope you find this guide helpful please if it does help consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button when you do this anytime i publish new video you will get notification on that in this channel we focus on technology and many things in our world of today revolve around tech okay so you need to get as much as you can all right so get equipped with tech all right also hit the like button for me you can also share the video for it to go viral all right if you want to support this channel you can do so so check the buy me a coffee link in the description section and support see you next time